If we are to feed 10 billion people in 2050, we need to look at a sustainable food system. Today we emit 25% of greenhouse gases from agriculture, we use 70% of fresh water in, uh, in agriculture, a third of the world's energy in food manufacturing, and a third of that food is lost or wasted. At the same time, 820 million people are starving. This is not the set of numbers of a sustainable working food system. And yet we have to expand that to produce, for example, 50% more protein to meet the growing appetite of our burgeoning population. If we look at the um, protein challenge that we face, it's clear that we have to make the current livestock value chain much more sustainable. So how can we create animal feed that drops the carbon footprint of the entire protein value chain? So this could be insects, this could be single cell. But surely there are huge opportunities there and that's the fastest way that we can impact the sustainability of the protein supply. Plant meats would be the other replacement. So if we look at plant-based meats, we look at the huge number of companies that are popping up in this space, particularly if we think of pork replacement, where we face the issues of swine flu, reducing the pork supply. This is a moment that is perfect to introduce plant-based meats in the pork sector. But also I think if we look at fish, if we look at poultry replacement, plants and the technology are right now to roll out. So those would be very good investment opportunities for today. Clearly in the future, the cell-based or the laboratory-based meats are going to come. And if we can scale them up in a sustainable manner such that the CO2 footprint is really, really a game changer, then those investments would be fantastic. If the landscape for agri-food doesn't allow us to bring a massive impact on climate change, thus to be significantly more sustainable, then we face a major problem because we will lose three to seven percent of capacity in terms of production for every one degree of temperature increase globally. So I am hoping that we can move very quickly and we can bring impact by 2030, have a highly sustainable agricultural sector.